Amsterdam is the capital and most popular city of the Netherlands, lying at the center of the Randstad, one of the largest metropolitan areas in Europe. Our day one starts from the Schiphol Airport. Schiphol Airport is the primary airport in Amsterdam. What we are seeing right now is the outside view of the Schiphol Airport. Schiphol Airport is 20 kilometers away from Amsterdam. What we are seeing right now is the Sheraton Hotel near to the Schiphol Amsterdam Airport. If a tourist decides to stay in the hotel, they can stay in the Sheraton near, nearby the Schiphol Airport. This is the inside view of the Schiphol Airport. There are various duty-free shops, cafeterias where you can relax and have food. Amsterdam is very famous with museums. This is Rijix Museum. The Rijix Museum is enormous. On display are 8000 objects of art and history, most of it Dutch, with masterpieces by Johannes Vermeer, Rembrandt and Frans Hals. A tourist can spend 2 to 3 hours in the museum and the cost part for adults it will cost Euro 20 and if you book by online you can get the tickets for Euro 90. The people under 18 are free included with the museum card and I Amsterdam card. The hours of operations are daily 9 am to 5 pm. What we are seeing right now is the outside view near to the Rijix Museum. Amsterdam is full of museums and Rijix Museum is one of the famous museums among them. This is the inside of Rijix Museum. The most famous art, art form in this museum is by Johannes Vermeer, Rembrandt and Franz Hals. The museum itself is very spacious and it is looking very beautiful. Now we are outside of the Rijix Museum. Step back outside. By now, the museum quarter is probably crowded with people, especially if you are here during the spring and summer months. The I Amsterdam sign is a very popular photography and Instagram spot. You can see many tourists are posing for their pictures and there is a small canal associated with the sign. It is outside the Rijeks Museum and it is such a beautiful sight to see for the tourists. Also there is museum shop where tourists can buy memorials, souvenirs, This is the area outside of Van Gogh Museum. In this area one can have lunch or breakfast. It is very famous. Kiosk rank brand Van Gogh is very famous cafeteria around here. Inside the museum, it is a modern building to view works of art by Vincent Van Gogh. In 2017, this was the most visited museum in the Netherlands. You can only purchase your tickets online. Do this in advance of your trip because they can sell out days in advance. You will pick a time slot and can enter the museum 
within a half hour of your reserved time. This eliminates waiting in line to enter the Van Gogh Museum. The average visit to the museum lasts about an hour. Cost: Adults Euro 19 and under 18 are free. Hours vary by season of, but the museum is usually open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with longer hours during peak season. Make time slot reservation. Visit the Van Gogh Museum official website to book your time slot in advance. Vondel Park is Amsterdam's green space. This is where the local people relax and sunbathe on warm days, and where families go outside to play. It's a plenty spot to visit, especially after spending most of the day inside of art museum. There is a canal associated with the Vondel Park. So it's a such a pretty view for the tourists to relax by its side. After spending time in Vodel Park, from the Voko take tram one to Blown Market. The Blown Market is the only floating flower market in the world. About 15 florist shops sell blooming flowers, bulbs and souvenirs. It is a bit of a tourist trap, but it's worth a quick visit if you are looking for gifts to bring home or just want to see flowers in bloom. Amsterdam is a city tied to the water. It grew around its canals and the taming of the Amstel River. The canals of Amsterdam are incredibly beautiful and there is nothing like seeing the city from a boat. The tours last about an hour and it leaves from Danmark Pier 6, Central Station East, Leidsplein and Rijks Museum. Price starts from 19.50 euros. After spending the whole day in Amsterdam, one can enjoy a high-class restaurant that serves modern French cuisine. Located in the Dalen Hotel on Kiskerash in the Nine Little Streets, the hotel is closed on Sundays and Mondays. It is very famous in Amsterdam. For an over-the-top breakfast experience, visit the Pancake Bakery. The popular breakfast spot serves giant pancakes topped with almost anything you can imagine. If you have a sweet tooth, you can get pancakes topped with ice cream, hot sauce, and caramel. Or if you like something savory, there are lots of options too. If you are traveling with kids, they will love this place. Do try to reach before 9 a.m. because the rush is very much out there. This is the Anne Frank House. 
without a doubt a visit to amsterdam would not be complete without a visit to the an frank house and it's just a short walk from the pancake bakery it will cost adults about euro 10.50 The walking hours are April 1 to November 1, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. November 1 to April 1, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays until 10 p.m. Book the tickets in advance and check hours for your date of visit on the official Anne Frank House website. Jordan area A person can have food over here It is very famous for local eaters It is one of the famous areas in Amsterdam It is near to the Anne Frank house The hotel named Picnic is very famous here for the food This is the Homo monument Homo monument is also famous for local eateries. A tourist can check out the surrounding areas. Next stop, our lord in the attic. Walk across Amsterdam past Central Station in the direction of the red light district. To get from picnic to our lord in the attic, it is a 17 minute walk. This museum also called our lord in the attic is one of the best history lessons in Amsterdam. This canal house built in 1630 looks normal to the outside. But inside on the top level sits a secret Catholic church. Some was banned in Amsterdam during the 17th century. So people built small churches in their houses hidden away from public view. This church is one of the largest and the best preserved of the Schoolix. It costs adults euro 12.5 euro 5 to 17 years. Euro 6 under 5 years are free included with the museum card and i amsterdam card the operating hours are monday through saturday 10 am to 6 pm sundays 1 pm to 6 pm reduced hours on holidays This is this is the Dam Square. Dam Square is crowded and touristy, but it is the main square of Amsterdam. So I think it is still worth a very quick visit. Just expect large crowds and beware of pickpockets. This is the Harlem area. For the rest of the day. Tourists are free to explore more of Amsterdam. Wander the canals in the Jordan area, rent bikes and explore the city. If you are looking for a thrill or just want a panoramic view over Amsterdam, visit the A Dam lookout tower. Harlem is just 15 minutes away from Amsterdam by train. A tourist won't have enough time to really explore Harlem, but a tourist can sit in the main square in town, have a drink at a cafe, and have dinner. Getting to Harlem from Central Station in Amsterdam, you can take a 15-minute train to Harlem. Train leaves approximately every 10 minutes and costs Euro 5.601 way. It's a beautiful area in Amsterdam and it is very famous. This is the central station and from here you can catch the train to Harlem. It is one of the busiest railway stations in Amsterdam. 